I'm Adrienne Sabom, and I'm a mother of two children. I grew up down here on a South Texas ranch, had wide open spaces to pretty much do whatever we wanted to outside. Usually during quail season, every weekend we would be quail hunting. Quail hunting and nature go kind of hand in hand. You are outside all day long. You see quail, you see dove, you see deer. Just spending quality time with your family, your friends, enjoying just being in the wilderness. I'm Sochi Rodriguez. I'm a mother and I'm from El Paso. I was born and raised here. We share a border with Ciudad Juarez. The crossroads of cultures, the crossroads of peoples, and the vastness of the desert. It's a really special place where lots of things come together. And sometimes they collide, sometimes they mesh. <laughs> we live right in the center of the city. Calissa and I are a bit of a team. We all three love adventures. I don't have to convince Calista to go on a hike. <laughs> I don't have to convince her to dig in the dirt. I grew up romping here. These are good sticks. Where'd you find them? Right over there. It's never hard for kids to connect to nature. I believe that we have built things that have gotten in the way, and they are not given the opportunities that they need to connect. This mountain just booms right up from this vast, flat landscape. <laughs> it's visually beautiful, but it's also um, such an incredible space to crack open and explore. We are lucky to have the largest urban state park in North America here in El Paso. Tens of thousands of acres of wild space preserved by the state of Texas. We're fortunate to have a state park in our backyard, and we're fortunate to have a mountain as the artery of our community. Adrian and I met at a Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation event. I met Sochi at the We Will Not Be Tamed campaign launch party, and we were talking about, well, she has never shot a gun. She couldn't fathom that, and I had never hiked the Franklin Mountains, and so it kind of evolved into, well, maybe we should each do each other's thing. We got to the ranch, and it's just more than I ever dreamed it could be. It's incredibly green, which is refreshing. I don't live in a green place. There she is. We arrived. Are you? Awesome. Hugged Adrian. Hi, Are you so tired? And we got to go straight <laughs> over to the horse stalls. And then got ready to ride horses. That will be my transport. <laughs> and Sochi, of course, from the get go, was excited about doing something new. Today, Calissa rode a horse for the first time ever. Here you go. With Henrietta, cowgirl. She was scared at first, but once she got on the horse, she grew much more comfortable. Can't believe how emotional I was seeing her be on that horse. Good, baby. You're doing amazing, Callista. In my life at this moment, most of my mountaintops involve Callista doing new things and doing big girl things and overcoming fears. After horseback riding, we went to the big event the moment we've all been waiting for. Sochi's shooting a gun for the first time. Then, your finger's never on the trigger until you're ready to fire. Okay. So it's gonna go right there. Safety's on and then you kind of get in position. It's the craziest thing I've ever done. I was really, really scared. <laughs> I'm a hot mess with this thing. Okay. Well, I feel like it's gonna go I off. Know, I do too. And it could be this pet if you want to take the, the vest off. She was super nervous in the beginning. You could tell her hands were shaking. She was sweating. In here? Holy. I learned a lot. Safety's on. So don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready. Oh! 
I shook after every clay, <laughs> but then I finally got into the groove and Pull. I felt a little bit better. Pull. Pull. Again. Ah, nice. There you go. Oh, pull. Once she did it a couple of times, she really right. relaxed. Did I hit that one? Uh-huh. And I hit one. by the end, she was having a pull. great time. <laughs> Good job. I learned to shoot alongside Adrian and her family. Okay, pull. I could not have been with more amazing people. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I was not raised around guns or hunting. Um, to see that there's a whole other way of life laced with respect for guns and respect for hunting, I really have learned uh, a different perspective on things that I had never had contact with. My friend Adrian is in El Paso, Texas. I'm out here visiting Sochi and Callista. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Good. Hi, Calista. Say hi. Look at all your fish. We're gonna hang out with Calista and just do our thing. Yeah. You cannot come to El Paso without taking a look at our border, the border wall. and gazing over into Mexico and uh, letting that sort of rock your soul a little bit. <laughs> And of course, we're gonna eat some really good food. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go try on some insane West Texas boots. I like it. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Here's our mountain. I also firmly believe that you cannot come to El Paso without hiking the Franklin Mountains. We're gonna summit. We're not just gonna do a little hike. I think we're gonna do a big one. Intimidating. I have been hiking before, but I've never hiked in this environment, the arid, rocky terrain. Concerned about the hydration. How much water do you take? We'll usually take three liters plus a bottle of water. Yeah, now that it's summertime, I'll probably carry six liters of water with us tomorrow. Golly. I think we're ready. Let's do it. It's just before seven. And I'm excited. We're gonna take Adrian to the top of the mountain. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> if you just take those first five steps, you're not gonna be able to stop stepping because it's just so beautiful. Anybody can do it. You can go for a short amount of time. You can go on a flat surface. You can find whatever works for you. See him? Little tiny little guy. See it? Black and brown. Oh yeah. Look at that tail. That's the great thing about hiking it. You see so much more than you do from a distance. There's a couple of pretty steep inclines, but they're beautiful because you're surrounded in yucca and ocotillo and the ground is red. And I think it's a great way to just sort of crack right into the mountain. You get a sense of how giant the world is and how little you are, and you can't help but be quiet and just stop and be humbled in that space. To just sort of be silent and parallel in a place that's much bigger than you are. It's a beautiful and a, and a really powerful thing to experience. I love the sound so much. Isn't that amazing? Like glass. Yeah. Um, so we're we're about halfway. Vamos. Here we go. Climbing. Hiking the Franklins is basically lunges, <laughs> all the way up the mountain. Thousands of lunges under some pretty intense sun would be scary to most. Um, Adrian is approaching this with a really fantastic enthusiasm. The ridge line is in sight. What? Almost there. It's breathtaking. Doing this with Sochi, it's a bond that you can create. Is the ridge 
The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> and doing something that you both enjoy and being outdoors, you can really have quality time where there's no distractions. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> we did it. You see forever. Forever. <laughs> you just have to expose your children and then they have a love of being in the outdoors. But the key is amazing. exposure. How do you feel? <laughs> do you feel thirsty? Now I've really seen El Paso. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I think Adrian and I share a love of the outdoors and some pretty deep respect for wild spaces and wild places. And that these places need to be protected so that our kids can have a healthy place to grow up in. This friendship is something that will last a lifetime. You just never know what you're gonna find trying something new. You just never know what door it'll open.